A player receives a check-in from one of his coaches.
Broadcasting live from Oriole Park and at now. Camden. Let's play ball. Coming to the plate now, James Newcomb. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. For the Orioles, the second baseman, James Newcomb. First offering on its way. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Orioles awesome, get their awesome. leadoff man aboard to start the around, inning. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. shortstop. It's been a rough go All for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season Escobar. average in the 230s. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come into this one fresh off a victory last time out that ended a six-game losing streak. Yeah, Matty, you know as well as I do, we were down there today on the field. This team is kind of in a little bit of malaise. They need to find a way to snap out of it. Tough home stand, only able to squeak out one win. This is a huge yeah. momentum game for this team. On to first, a double play. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles' starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? You know, Matt, a big part of the offense is Mark Trumbo. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over... Now in the box, James Newcomb. Man. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, Newcomb. still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that's off the left field wall. Mullins ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. And he's one rookie that's not afraid of the moment. That's his second knock of the game. This one a double. And he looks like the type of player that knows he belongs. Man at second here with two away. Not and bad. up next Number will be one. the shortstop, Alcides shortstop. Escobar. Alcides. Ready with the 0-1. Escobar. Heading out towards shallow on, right. Dean, Richard work. is after it. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on. And the inning is over. A final look at this tumbling catch out there in right field. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Ready now, Devin Travis comes into this field. at bat 0 for the 1 in the ball game. Devin Travis. What Sent on the ground out to second. Played on the back. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Good time now to check out the Orioles' road to the show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves of late. Into the box, now James Newcomb, as man. he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First offering on its way. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. 1 and 0 oh pitch on the way. Check swing. Window, you're here. You're right here. Side. Reined in. They get the force at the plate, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Digging in once again. I'll see this Escobar. He flew out in That's his last stop. at bat. I'll see that. On the ground to the right Escobar. side. Travis showing off his range. Throw on to first is going to be in time in the Oriole. Digging in to try it again. James Newcomb. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Two runs, six hits, and two Baltimore errors thus far. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. They haven't had much luck so far tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra base hit. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. Stepping into the box, I'll see this no Escobar. He could really use Good a knock stop. here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's ready, here's the 0-1. Rolls All right, hang on, hang on, right there. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Head-to-head -head no history with either. Marcus Stroman. Trey. He's a 333 hitter, 5 for 15. Is put in play to the right side of the infield, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Orioles lead. Now back to the top of the lineup, Up stepping in, Warriors. James Newcomb. He base. comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Newcomb. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. This is lined to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. Luplo isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He scores as they close the gap to three now. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Standing in, Alcides Escobar. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Baltimore down to their final strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight. So they live to fight some more. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And no that'll bring fielder. up the power hitting outfielder, Ray. Trey Mancini. Mancini. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. Now a 6-4 ball game. So that'll go down as an E4 as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two... On a Wednesday night, we've got baseball from Oriole Park here in Baltimore. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Baltimore Orioles. It's Orioles baseball, and it's... Let's play ball! Coming to the plate now, James Newcomb. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom off. half of the first. For the Orioles, the second baseman, James. First delivery Newcomb. to him on the way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. 
Look guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in off a good victory last time out, but one that was just their second win in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they get put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. This will kick up against the wall now. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Sacrifice attempt here. Jerko is there. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles' starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? You know, Matt, a big part of the offense is Mark Trumbo. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Digging in, Trey Mancini. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. There is Jerko. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. But one's all they get as the run scores. Really good team at bat right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does this, that, gets the ground ball, and brings home the first. So digging in now, James Newcomb. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down. Right, he's got on, himself on, a base on, hit. Right here, right here. And he'll reach second now with one away. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Into the box now, Alcides Escobar. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Escobar. This is okay, square out up, towards second. Up, Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Probably wanted more out of that at bat with runners in scoring position. But at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. now. Left fielder. And Trey. here's the big right-handed power Trey. threat, Trey Mancini. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looks like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move now on. Batter. That's first something that young man. pitchers can have ball. a hard time with, though. Run ball. Sinker misses ball four. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters, but he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. Now he comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far Joey. after reaching on an error his first Ripper. time up. One and two, here it is. On, he pops it up. Galvis is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Now to the plate, James now Newcomb. Back. Already Second two for two. Man. He'll look to add hey. on right here. Newcomb. First pitch of the at-bat. And it's fouled away. Hit hard back hard up 90, the middle. Hard 90. And that's in there for a base hit and his third hit of the game. Man, you smoked that thing. Got a boy. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire lately. Stepping in, Alcides Escobar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last right, hold on, right, 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 right. play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll and too. Smoke and they're thing. content oh, to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what fielder. that pitcher wants you to Trey. say. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. One out now in the Orioles' fourth, the and Orioles. that'll bring up the big power the bat of Mark man. Trumbo. Mark Trumbo. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit, the throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. You'd have thought someone had a radar gun on him with the effort he put into that throw. That's a cannon of an arm right there. Stepping into the box, Joey Rickard. It yeah, was a flyout for him in his field. last trip. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Rendell Gritcher. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. One, but one, gets one. this one down. And he'll just make the tag himself, and the inning is over. So the batting order turns over now and set now to go. James Newcomb, three hey. hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line towards center field. Oh, and he misses it. On the bag, on the bag, on the bag. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, you can see what happens here. He's so focused on lining up to make his throw that he forgets one small detail. You got to catch it first, so he gets tagged with an error as well he should. Ready once again, Alcides Escobar. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Escobar. Ready with the 0-1. Swing and okay, he pops him up. Galvis into shallow left. He gets there, and that's the second out. At the plate, Trey Mancini has got an RBI warrior. despite an 0 for no 2 effort field. to this point. Trey Mancini. Now will step off and fire to the bag. Runner back safely. Six runs, 10 hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. in the air now out to right field. Richard has a beat on it and the inning is over. Digging in the switch hitter Justin Smoke. It. Two the hits in base. two trips for him thus Justin. far. Smoke. He's set and the 2 1 pick. Hit hard on the ground a second. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. Stepping up now, Rendell Gritcher. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed perfectly. The second for one, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts Teoscar. for him to this point in the ball game. Sure. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Run on two hits here for Toronto. Digging in, James Newcomb. He'll look to keep it going 3 for 4 so far in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Yeah. 
hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Six runs, 11 hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Rowe. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. The batter, number one. Jerk Digging up. in, I'll see this Escobar. Dead. He's working on a one Escobar. for three thus far. Ball two now. Newcomb, base runner at first with one out. And this is on the ground oh, first. Out. Could be two. One there. On the smoke in time for an inning ending double play. This one pretty well in the bag. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Blue Jays on top. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, James Newcomb. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Ground ball right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Stepping in and ready for another shot. I'll see this Escobar. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Galvis will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. I can tell you from experience, bases loaded, nobody out, and you get an infield pop-up, that feels just as good as a strikeout. And now he's just a double play ball away from getting out of this mess. So now striding back. forward Left now, fielder. Trey Mancini. Trey. He comes into this appearance Matt in the midst Levy. of a one-for-four day. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from third. And the throw in gets away Check from the him. Now. Look at that. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Here's Mark Trumbo now. Three for now four back. so far First and seeing base. it well in this ball game. Trumbo. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Orioles down to their now final bad. out. And no that'll bring in Joey Rickard. No Baltimore down to their final Richter. strike. Big swing, right, but a little up, dribbler up, here to the right side of the mound. And with that, I can finally say the four words I've had on my mind for what seems like an eternity. This ball, the ball game, game. is over.
Thursday night baseball now from Ori. Play ball. Now at the plate, James Newcomb. He'll lead things off here in the Beating bottom off. half of the first. Orio, the second baseman. Jay. He's ready. Newcomb. Here's the first offering. Find it, find it, find it. On a hop. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, I'm looking at the leadoff hitter. They're hoping to have some things turn around with him leading off. Look, he's coming off a month where he hit under 200. That's under the Mendoza line, which is like almost unheard of. I guess some guys do it, but man, this guy's really struggling. He's lucky. In now for the O's, James Newcomb. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Into the flag court and gone. So that's his first home run in the big leagues, and it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in, and he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. Digging in and looking for more, James back. Newcomb. And that base. last at bat when he hey. went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. First delivery to him on the way. No balls and a strike to count. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Mullins, the runner at second with one away. Line drive to center field. Pilar is there now and he has it to gone. That's one of those tough luck outs that will drive you crazy as a hitter. Now at the plate, Freddie Galvis now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second Freddie. with a base hit into the outfield. Oh, Popped up. Oh. Trumbo has a play. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run and score. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup Leading now off. and stepping Orioles, in, Orioles. James Newcomb. The second baseman. Newcomb. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1.
Here's the 0 1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Now the one and one pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit the second. And there's one down now. Here's Randall Gritcher. Up next for the Blue Jays, the right fielder, Randall Gritcher. Oh, dude, it's dude, on dude. the ground a second. Did he get his? Escobar on to Trumbo, but not quite in time as they'll just get the one. Well, there's no doubt they've looked free and net the last five games. But they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that now. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Baltimore took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Alex Cobb takes the win on the mound, his Our second of the year. A newcomer to the big leagues is interviewed about a milestone moment in his young career. Afternoon baseball from one of the best ballparks. Ball. So striding forward now, James Newcomb. He'll lead things Leading off here off. in the bottom Will half of the first. The second baseman. Yay. First delivery to him on the way. Takes this the other way to right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Orioles get their leadoff man aboard to man, start the inning. That thing. That a boy. Good job. He got the pitch he wanted and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. At the plate, Jace Peterson that in his second. career against the Porcello. The pitcher zoned him. He's a paltry one for 11. Peterson. And he just he manages that. to get his hand in. There goes the runner in there. Now the throw falls there and he is out. Good throw. 
Ready for another chance. James Newcomb. He That's reached a on a thing. single in his first try. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off Good right job. now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Looking up is Bradley. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Two run shot to straight away center. Home run number two for him on the year. And with that, it's now a six to three ball game. Well, that ball right there was right up in the happy zone. It doesn't take much to drive one out of the ballpark when you connect on a high pitch like that. The backspin carried that one right out of here. Here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 1 with a now run that. batted in thus far. The shortstop. Xander Bogart. The 2-2. Two -two. On a line, that's a base hit. Relay, here we go. Relay, relay. Pierce blows through the stop sign, headed for home. He comes across to score as it's now seven to three. When you're up by seven runs. Striding in for Boston, Eduardo Boston. Nunez. He's got a hit in base. three at bats Eduardo to this point. Nunez. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. One, one, Out towards one. second. Newcomb fields it cleanly. And the fifth yeah. inning will start with a ground out. One away. Ready for another shot now. now. James Newcomb. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. First offering on its way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high. But you have to wonder maybe if the heat is taking it out on this guy a little bit. The weather can be the great equalizer, especially when the temps are starting to rise like this. Riding into the box, Jace Peterson. He singled his last time baseman. up. Yeah, and they take Jace. another single right here. That third base Peterson. coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And here's the big right-handed power no threat, Trey Mancini. In his career against Porcello, he brings a 4 for 12 line. He also has one home run. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Here's Mark Trumbo now. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Trumbo! Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the end. Making his way to the plate, now James Newcomb. Baseman. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game, as that makes this an eight-all ball game. Long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Ready to take.
take his hat off again. James Newcomb as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And that will go over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Pretty good swing right there as he drives this ball deep. One hops over the wall and he can just walk into second base with a ground rule double. So stepping in, Jace Peterson. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Peterson. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Pierce takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. At the plate, Trey Mancini. It's now been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Mancini. Bouncer down the line. That's a foul ball. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. Lifetime in this matchup. He's gone just two for 13. Bogart. The one-two. On the ground towards second. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Here's Jackie Bradley now, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Line to the right side. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. a fun one to watch a great game for guys with the sticks but for pitchers not so much a classic slugfest and they walk away on top of the end 14 to 12 the final score in this ball game the Baltimore Orioles wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Richard Blyer gets the win in relief his second of the year Hector Velasquez struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned Michael Givens closes the door for the save his 13th of the year so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show Three hours and 59 minutes. MLB Network's coverage of Dylan Bundy, a right-hander. Here's the second baseman now, Not Dustin expected. Pedroia. And the as you check base. out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better Pedroia. against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Hit out towards second. He'll go to the bag for one. Back to first, and they get Pedroia. It's a double play. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. You know, he's driving in a lot of runs. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 350. 
That tells me he thrives in those moments. He enjoys it. We'll see if he gets an opportunity to perform with runners on base in this one. In now, that James Newcomb. He's That's been hitting well man. in the series. Four hey. RBIs on five hits. Newcomb. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. So a solo shot here to left center field. Fourth home run for him on the season as the Orioles have come back to tie our score at one. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Here's J.D. Martinez. His past history with Dylan Bundy. He's got five base hits in 18 at-bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs. One, one, one. Back up the middle. And quickly, there are two away. So first and second with one man gone. And that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Two, two, two. Hit back up the middle. Escobar on the move. He's got it. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Red Sox are out in front, four to one. Trying to pick things up where he left off. off. James Orville Newcomb. Orville. He went deep in the his first baseman. at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. A ball and two strikes. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backward. Standing now in, back. James Newcomb. Base. He got called out hey. on strikes his last time through. Newcomb. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially now he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. One run on three hits. And no errors for the Orioles so far. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, way to swing the bat. Hey, pitchers, nice you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup part because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. So here's the cleanup hitter, DJ Stewart. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 3-2 pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Now batting. Third baseman. And here's Renato, Renato. Nunez. His numbers against Nunez. Eduardo Rodriguez batting at an even 400. Benintendi is there as he makes the catch and they'll. 
Striding in once again, James Newcomb. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. Three runs, six hits, one error thus far for Baltimore. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count. Really puts the hitters on a defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Hey, D-Row, that's great hustle out of the box right there. Shortstop has to go deep in a hole to make the play, but he was thinking base hit as soon as he made contact. Yeah, perfect placement right there. He's definitely rewarded for it right there. Nice play by the shortstop. There's not now much you can do. You can either Number plant that 24. right foot and try and come unglued with a throw to first base. You can use the Jarek Jeter, try and jump throw, but I didn't think he was going to get him either way. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Betts is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Striding in Renato Nunez. Oh, he lined out in his the last trip baseman. so looking for better Renato. fortunes here. Yeah he hit it hard that's all you can ask you can't control the results sometimes Matty just unlucky with the placement. Grounded to first. Come on, come on, come on. Get Morgan get is there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Settling in now, James Newcomb. They look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Driven to deep right field. Back goes Betts to the track, and he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The final Boston Red Sox.